Today, we've got an intriguing topic to discuss, Samsung's potential three-pronged chip strategy for the upcoming Galaxy S25. Yep, you heard that right. There's a wild rumor floating around that Samsung might be using not one, not two, but three different chips in their next flagship series. Let's dive into the details. There's been a lot of speculation about what chipset will power the Galaxy S25 series. Some rumors suggested it would be exclusively the Exynos 2500. Others hinted at a two-chip strategy using both Exynos 2500 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. But now, a new report from the Financial News in Korea claims that Samsung might also include a MediaTek Dimensity chip in the mix. Let's explore the potential pros and cons of this unprecedented move. First, let's consider the benefits. By bringing MediaTek into the fold, Samsung could potentially keep the balance of power in check. This might prevent Qualcomm from hiking prices on their Snapdragon chips. Industry experts already believe that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 could be 25-30% to pricier than its predecessor, the Gen 3. If MediaTek can offer a competitive alternative, it could help Samsung negotiate better deals with Qualcomm and keep overall costs down. However, this strategy isn't without its risks. MediaTek hasn't been a player in the flagship segment for Samsung before. They've mainly been used in Samsung's lower-cost phones. Introducing a third variant of the Galaxy S25 with a MediaTek chip could lead to complications, especially when it comes to firmware updates and regional variations. Imagine the challenge of developing and maintaining firmware updates for three different hardware configurations. It could become a logistical nightmare. Plus, Samsung would have to carefully decide which regions get which chip variants. The rumor suggests that the MediaTek-powered Galaxy S25 might be limited to specific regions like China, while the rest of the world would stick to the Exynos and Snapdragon models. This means consumers in different parts of the world could have varying experiences with the Galaxy S25, depending on which chip their device uses. It's a strategy that could either give Samsung a competitive edge or backfire spectacularly. Of course, we need to take this rumor with a grain of salt. As of now, there's no concrete evidence to support this theory. We're still about half a year away from the Galaxy S25's official announcement, and a lot can change between now and then. In the world of tech, rumors come and go, and sometimes they turn out to be far from reality. But it's always interesting to speculate and discuss the possibilities. So if you think, could Samsung really be considering a three-chip strategy for the Galaxy S25? And if so, is it a brilliant move or a potential disaster waiting to happen? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think MediaTek can compete with Exynos and Snapdragon in the flagship space? Or do you believe Samsung should stick with the tried-and-true two-chip approach? Your insights are always valuable to us. Remember, we're still in the realm of speculation here. Until Samsung makes an official announcement, everything is up in the air. That's what makes the tech world so exciting. Anything can happen. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed this discussion, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech news and rumors. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. We'll keep you posted on all the latest developments in the tech world. Until next time, in just a few months' time, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will succeed the iPhone 15 Pro Max and take on the mantle as the best and most advanced iPhone out there. Although there's plenty of time until September and a lot can change, we seem to know a lot about the upcoming top iPhone model based on rumors and leaks. How is the iPhone 16 Pro Max shaping up against its predecessor? What's changing and what's staying the same? Let's see how the iPhone 16 Pro Max shapes up against the current best iPhone Apple has in its roster. First up, let's talk about design and size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will inherit the same design language as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, employing the same titanium frame with a completely flat screen. The major difference between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be size. The upcoming iPhone screen will grow to 6.9 inches across, a significant bump over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.7-inch display. To achieve this, they're likely shrinking the bezels down even further and making the phone itself slightly larger overall. As per the rumors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will measure 163mm in height and 77.58mm in width versus 159.9mm and 76.7mm for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. A small but notable change, all things considered. The iPhone 15 Pro Max debuted with an action button, instead of a mute switch and a USB Type-C port at the bottom, so those two features will be carrying over to the newer model as well. However, the iPhone 16 series will be scoring another button, dubbed the Capture Button. Colors-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available in four understated and titanium-inspired colors. 
We've heard that Apple might use another titanium processing technique that will make the iPhone 16 Pro Max glossier and also more capable of retaining colors. Moving on to display differences. As mentioned, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come along with a significantly larger display, measuring at 6.9 inches across. Aside from the size, we don't clearly expect any other major changes. We're certainly getting a liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering superb colors, contrast, and exceptional maximum brightness. The screen will support 120Hz promotion refresh rate, making scrolling through the interface and on-screen content way smoother. Now let's delve into performance and software. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a second-generation 3 nanometer chip, possibly dubbed Apple A18 Pro. As one can imagine, we expect that the Apple A18 Pro will have better performance than the Apple A17 Pro. Due to the heavily rumored focus on AI for both iOS and the iPhone 16 range, we expect that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a much improved neural engine to take care of all the generative AI features. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will also be a first to debut iOS 18 with a focus on artificial intelligence features. The new iPhone 16 Pro Max will also support faster Wi-Fi 7 and a more power efficient 5G modem, keeping you future-proofed on the connectivity front. Let's talk about the camera. As the iPhone 15 Pro Max deliver a host of important camera features, chief among which is the new 120mm telephoto lens, the iPhone 16 Pro Max can finally address one of the forgotten cameras that hasn't recently scored any significant overhauls, the ultra-wide. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that Apple will be introducing a 48 megapixel ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. When it comes to audio quality, iPhone Pro Max devices are always up there with the best, setting the benchmarks for all other manufacturers to measure up against. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will be no exception. The same generally applies to haptics too. iPhones are arguably the best devices when it comes to haptic feedback, giving us precise and accurate vibrations that are sufficiently strong yet not overpowering. Lastly, battery life and charging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature a much larger 4,676 mAh battery compared to the 4,422 mAh battery in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Charging-wise, we haven't heard anything about a potential charging speed increase, but we hope to see one on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a logical improvement to the iPhone 15 Pro Max delivering key upgrades in important areas like screen size, performance, AI, and battery life. Thus far, we haven't heard anything particular about a potential price increase, so it's safe to assume that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will start at $1,199 for the 256GB version. Of course, if there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max in your pocket, then you'll probably have few reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we get closer to its release date. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time.